其是有点讽刺。而且我一直关注了 GTC， 而且了解到，感觉他们那个 V5 做的比较好。因为我一直以前用的手机是 GTC， 他们家手机业务比较下滑。我，呃，那个王雪红听说他要把那个什么，呃，业务转移到这个虚拟现实上去。我觉得这个虚拟现实挺有前景的。而且他们看新闻说做的比较好，啊，体验也说比较好，我一直没有体验过。Yeah, as we transition from just an automotive company to an automotive and a mobility company, we want to become more technology focused. So these shows serve many, many purposes. One, it gets to, allows us to highlight uh, the technical side of, of some of the efforts that we're working on, both from a connectivity perspective or from an autonomous vehicle perspective. It also allows us to highlight some of our partners that we're working with. We know that we can't uh, transition into a mobility company without really good partners to support us. So this is our fifth Mobile World Congress Shanghai. We're really starting to build this event up. So we're expecting over 50,000 people here for our event and about 20,000 people for partner events. So really starting to gain scale uh, for the event in China and, and really getting up to the scale of our Barcelona event. Uh, in terms of trends, I mean, I think it's the trends that we're seeing across the world, the emergence of 5G, cool new devices, virtual reality technology, and then Internet of Things, so how we connect every device and everything in our lives to create a better future. It's a privilege to be here. There are not so many startups. And in the digital world, you have to show that you are, you're working on something innovative exactly in this digital era. So for us, it's important just to, to show the world what we have already, but also to announce that we are going to be on the market in the upcoming, day, uh, in the upcoming months. MWC this year, the theme is mobile, it's me. So in, in, across the halls, we see a lot of exhibitions covering devices, software, services, and e even auto autonomous vehicles, you know, car companies here uh, exhibiting their, their, in their booths. And uh, we also see dedicated uh, spaces for VR, you know, for uh, special mobile, like for example, mobile payments and things like that. Uh, Canalys predicts that uh, there will be 1.4 billion um, smartphone users in China in 2020, and that is um, almost uh, more than four times uh, the size of the U.S. market. So. Uh, Canalys also believes that uh, people in China, they are at the forefront in terms of adopting new technologies. They want the newest trends. They are ready you know, to face complexity, but then they, they want to derive more value out of their uh, 
uh, a lifestyle that is uh, covered by mobile devices, connectivity, and, and so on. 